Hello everybody! Today I'm here for a brief review of Echo Dot, a third-generation smart speaker by Amazon. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. A third-generation smart speaker by Amazon. It features an integrated voice assistant Alexa, improved design and better speaker for richer and louder sound. It can also be coupled with one more Echo Dot 3 device to ensure a stereo sound. In today's video, I will show you all of these things. Compared with the previous generation, Echo Dot 3 delivers 70% louder sound, which makes the voice assistant respond more clearly. Just as before, additional wireless or wireless speakers using 3.5 mm audio cable are recommended for listening to music. Alexa Voice Assistant can hear you from any place in the room thanks to being equipped with four highly sensitive microphones. Alexa can also help you listen to music, make calls and send messages. Just ask, and Alexa will inform you on the latest news, currency rates, weather forecasts, and many other things. This device has one more useful function – it can help you voice control all compatible equipment of a smart home. For example, you can turn on the light or make coffee without having to leave your comfortable bed. The speaker itself looks quite attractive – a cylinder-shaped body with rounded edges made in fabric design. The top panel retains the four control buttons and the LED ring just as in the previous generation models. There are two volume buttons, the action button that starts Alexa and the microphone mute button. The LED ring lights up when you say Alexa and that's the signal for you that the device is waiting for your commands. At the back there are two connectors, a proprietary power socket and a conventional 3.5 mm audio socket for connecting additional external speakers. Alternatively, you can connect extra speakers by Bluetooth. Alright, let's turn it on and see how it works. Stick the power cable into the corresponding connector and plug the other end of the cable into the wall socket. When the speaker is turned on for the first time, it will inform you that an application has to be downloaded to your smartphone. This device is ready for setup. Just install the Alexa app and follow the instructions. By the way, here is an important peculiarity that may seem a disadvantage to some users. Alexa speaks English, Japanese, French and German. Unfortunately, other languages are not supported at the moment. The Alexa app can be downloaded from the Google Play Market. Linking the speaker to the smartphone is easy. When you start the app for the first time, give the login and password to your Amazon account. Only after that you can get into the menu and set a link between the speaker and your phone. Plug the Echo device's power cable into the wall socket. The light ring will turn blue at first and then change into orange. When in the Alexa app, go to the tab Devices, uh, tap the plus icon and choose Amazon Echo, Echo Dot and tap on your model. Connect the Echo device to a Wi-Fi network by following instructions from the application. That's all. Now you can try talking to Alexa. Echo Dot 3 may become the central element to control your smart home system with its built-in voice assistant Amazon Alexa. This gadget will help you control the climate in your room by adjusting the thermostats and air conditioning units, manage smart lamps and sockets, television and audio systems. You can even tell it to open the garage door while you're putting your shoes on in the corridor. The smart speaker supports integration with devices produced by Wink, Vivint, Philips and many other brands. You can find a list of all devices compatible with its remote control function in the Amazon official website. You will find the link in the description. 
with the help of this voice assistant, which you can activate by just saying Alexa, Amazon or Echo. You can even create shopping list or list of tasks to be done. The device can also access your Google Calendar. It can play music from such services as Amazon Music, Pandora, TuneIn or Spotify. And when you connect a smartphone to the smart speaker, Apple Music or Google Play Music become available as well. Alexa can even read you an audiobook. Amazon Echo Dot 3 can interact with the owner using voice commands, though in a somewhat limited format. It's hardly able to keep the ball rolling in a conversation, but it does pretty well in easy tasks like getting to know the weather forecast or locating traffic jams. Setting up an alarm clock for the morning run is a piece of cake. It should be noted that Echo Dot 3 uses Wikipedia as its primary source of information, so it is truly smart, in a way. On top of all that, there is one more feature to boast – cloud-based control. All your voice requests are processed in Amazon servers, and that means a number of advantages to the end user. First of all, third-party companies can integrate with Echo Dot seamlessly, without any firmware updates needed. Thanks to Alexa Skills Kit, more and more services from various companies and developers are becoming available to smart speaker owners. Secondly, the speaker is learning to understand you all the time, with voice samples analyzed thoroughly, and in a few weeks the gadget will be able to seize your meaning at once. And in the third place, when you replace the smart speaker, for example, when you decide to change from DOT to Amazon Tab, you don't need to train it again, thanks to the same cloud service. I'd like to know that Echo Dot 3 can also operate in tandem with one more gadget of the same model, or even with a few of them. For example, you can place them in several rooms or use them as a stereo system. To do it, go to Devices and tap on the plus button. Select Add Stereo Pair, Subwoofer or Add Multi-Room Music Speaker for using the speakers in different rooms. Continue. Tick the other speaker and tap Next. Then decide which speaker should be left and right and tap Next. Now you will have to wait until the process of connecting speakers is over. Here you are. The stereo system of two speakers is ready to use. If the speakers are in different rooms, you can enable broadcasting your voice from one room to another by just by asking Alexa about it. Alexa, drop into the bedroom. Привет, Alexa Echo Dot 3 can also make calls to other people who use uh, Echo devices or the Amazon Alexa application. All right, now let's see how it works in practice. Alexa, how are you? I'm really hood. Oops, I meant to say really good. Guess I've been saying too many tongue twisters. Alexa, who do you love? I think Igor Selva and I would pair up quite nicely. He's a DJ, and I play music for people all the time. His voice is amazing, and I've been told my voice is my best asset. And we are both A-list actors. Well, at least my name starts with an A. It's a match made in heaven. Or at least in the cloud. Alexa. Wikipedia. Great Britain. Here's the Wikipedia article on Great Britain. Great Britain is an island in the North Atlantic Ocean off the northwest coast of continental Europe. With an area of 209,331 square kilometers, it is the largest of the British Isles, the largest European island, and the ninth largest island in the world. In 2011, Great Britain had a population of about 61 million people, making it the world's Alexa. most populous island. Stop. As I said before, you can use the speaker to turn off the light. Alexa, turn off the light. Sorry, I didn't find a device named Light. As you heard, Alexa couldn't find any compatible devices because there are no smart lamps in my room. You can use the voice assistant to listen to your favorite radio station. Alexa, play Kiss FM. 
getting 103.5 KISS FM station from iHeartRadio. Alexa, stop. Listen to the news. Alexa, what news in the world? Here's your news. In NPR News. Live from NPR News in Washington. Alexa, stop. Find out what the weather is like. Alexa, what is the weather in Kyiv? Right now in Kiev, Ukraine, it's 45 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today's forecast has lots of Alexa, clouds with a high... Stop. Make calls, send messages and hear them. The user whom you want to call should have an Amazon account and have the same smart speaker model as you do. Some shops selling the new generation of Amazon Echo Dot also offer buying a remote control unit for this device smart light bulbs and Amazon smart plug socket. Now let's analyze all advantages and disadvantages of this speaker. Despite its laconic appearance and small size format, the device comes equipped with the latest wireless interfaces such as Bluetooth 4 and dual band Wi-Fi 802.11ac. Omnidirectional microphones supporting active noise reduction are really perfect. Rest assured, the speaker will hear and recognize your voice even while there is some music playing in or television working in the background. All processes are brought to life by ARM processor Cortex-A8 combined with 256MB RAM and 4GB of flash memory. Not too impressive, right? Ok, but for a device that sells under $50, it is quite acceptable, and such hardware doesn't affect its performance. The speaker never seems to be too sluggish. Echo Dot doesn't have a built-in battery and is only powered from the wall socket. On the one hand, it doesn't really matter as it's a stationary device, but on the other hand, there is a mobility issue. Moreover, naturally, location of the smart speaker will depend on whether you have a vacant wall socket nearby. Some people find it a serious disadvantage that speech samples are stored in Amazon servers. Although the company promises they are used only for improved voice recognition, some mistrustful people may have a hard time staying in one room with Alexa running devices. Localization is another controversial point. At the moment, you can talk to the voice assistant only in English, German and Japanese, and Amazon services still have to be developed in some regions of our planet. As an acceptable option, Echo Dot can be used as a tool in learning foreign languages. Have you ever dreamt of learning a bit of Japanese? Here is your personal assistant and a good companion in conversation. To sum it all up, we can say that for regions like Eastern Europe, Amazon speakers are more of an entertainment gadget, but with a good potential for growth. It seems so likely to have a similar device in every home within some 5 years or so. Meanwhile, you can use Echo Dot 3 today to get yourselves ready for technologies of tomorrow and to try your hand at living in the future. However, as long as you have a good command of English, there is nothing to stop you from choosing Echo Dot as a basic controller for a smart home system, or a personal assistant, equally good at, inf at informing you on the weather forecast and reminding of important plans for tomorrow. But many other users have to wait a bit until Alexa learns more languages and Amazon services become truly available all over the world. And that is all for now. I hope this video was interesting for you. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.